метров, истребитель уже не привязан к аэродрому и может выполнять задачи на большом удалении, обнаруживать цели и вести одновременно до 30 из них. Под Су-57 специально модернизируют гиперзвуковую ракету «Воздух-воздух» Р-37М. Дальнего действия до 300 километров. Russia's new K-77 air-to-air missile, a design based loosely on the R-77 currently in service, has been unveiled for the first time carried by an aircraft. The K-77 was developed specifically to equip Russia's Su-57 next-generation fighters and accordingly is shorter than other long-range missile designs and has clipped fins to allow it to be carried in the new fighter's internal weapons base. The Su-57 notably has a larger internal carrying capacity than any other fifth-generation aircraft and can accommodate up to eight long-range air-to-air missiles and two short-range ones. That rivals the American F-22 Raptor and Chinese J-20, can only carry six long-range and two short-range missiles each, while the new and much smaller American F-35, the only Western stealth fighter in production today, carries just four missiles of any size. The Su-57's weapons bays are also deeper than those on the Raptor or the J-20, allowing it to carry higher diameter weapons, such as cruise missiles, guided bombs, and in future small hypersonic ballistic missiles as well, which are currently at a prototype stage of development. The Su-57 is a highly ambitious design which integrates a number of technologies not seen on other fifth-generation fighters, including three-dimensional thrust vectoring engines, cheek and rear-facing radars and laser defense systems among others. The aircraft's prototypes are currently being used as testbeds for sixth-generation technologies, which are expected to be integrated onto later variants. The K-77 is expected to bridge the gap in firepower between the Su-57 and new American and Chinese fighters, with the older R-77 missile eclipsed in its capabilities by America's new AIM-120D and Farm Areso by China's new PL-15, which is currently considered the absolute leader in the field. It remains uncertain whether the K-77 will use a cheaper and less sophisticated passively scanned array radar, as Russian missiles until now have, and as US and European missiles do, or whether it will use a more advanced ESA radar, as only Japanese and Chinese missiles currently do. Russia was notably a latecomer in integrating ESA radars onto its fighter jets, with its first ESA radar-equipped fighter the MiG-35 entering service in June 2019, but such radars can provide missiles with a key advantage, both in locking onto enemy aircraft and in countering enemy electronic warfare efforts. The K-77 is reported by Russian sources to have a range of 193 kilometers, longer than the top American missile, the AIM-120D which reaches 180 kilometers, but short of the Chinese PL-15, which reaches an estimated 250 to 300 kilometers. What makes the K-77's introduction particularly significant, aside from its more compact size and longer range, is the fact that its active phased array antenna APA, guidance technologies make it extremely accurate even against small and agile targets at extreme ranges. A sophisticated radar system in the missile's nose can overcome the radar's field of view problem, allowing the missile to retain a lock 360 degrees around itself and thereby preventing fighters from evading its field of view by ducking past it. This will provide the missile with a no-escape range several times as long as that on the R-77, and much longer than those of the AIM-120D or PL-15. Russian state media outlet RT explained the APA technology used by the K-77 as follows. An active phased array antenna consists of a large number of cone-shaped cells installed under a transparent to radio waves cap on the nose of the missile. Each cell receives only a part of the signal, but once digitally processed, the information from all cells is summarized into a full picture, enabling the K-77M missile to immediately respond to sharp turns of the target, making interception practically inevitable. Integration of the K-77 is but the latest example of the Su-57 fighter, pioneering groundbreaking new technologies which other countries may only later begin to develop themselves.
Apart from the K-77 missile, Russia will also test firing of the Russian R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile from the Su-35 fighter jets are planned for end 2020, while flight tests to confirm compatibility with the Su-35 have already commenced. The R-37M is intended to be the main long-range air-to-air weapon for current and future Su and MiG-type Russian fighter jets well into the next decade. It is intended to replace the R-77 missiles whose maximum range is around 100 km at supersonic speeds, 2 to 3 times the speed of sound, compared to the R-37 MS-200 km at hypersonic speeds, 6 times the speed of sound. The missile will compete with the Raytheon Mate AIM 120C, 160 plus km range, the AIM 260 JATM, 200 km plus range, being developed by Lockheed Martin and MBDA's Meteor, 160 km range with 60 km no escape zone, that is among the weapons for the Rafale, Ripen and F-35 jets. Following tests on the Su-35, the R-37M will then be tested on the Su-57 for launch from the internal weapons bay of the fifth-generation stealth fighter. It is not only intended to bring down fighter jets from beyond visual range, but also early warning aircraft and cruise missile carrying jets operating from a standoff distance, is Vestia reported earlier this week. The R-37M, RVVBD, S hypersonic speed allows it to overcome the distance to the target even at maximum range in 2 to 3 minutes, is Vestia said quoting sources. The inertial navigation system, built on high-precision laser gyroscopes, guides it for most of the flight path to the target. If the target suddenly changes course, the missile trajectory can be corrected from the launching fighter via a radial link. The homing radar is activated in close proximity to the target causing its warhead to explode and to avoid detection until too late. Though the missile is claimed to have a 200 km range, the ideal targeting distance, also known as no escape zone, depends upon the type of enemy aircraft, for fighter jets it is 40-70 km, for stealth aircraft or cruise missiles, this distance would be less, for large bombers or early warning aircraft, the effective firing distance could be greater than 70 km-100 km. The missile is able to take advantage of its hypersonic speed at relatively shorter targeting distance and hit enemy aircraft equipped with the most sophisticated missile detection systems. According to Tactical Missiles Corporation, the manufacturer of the RVVBD, the missile's guidance system is inertial with data link update and active radar homing at final path leg. Propulsion, a double-mode SPR featuring missile internal start following separation from launch aircraft. Fuse, radar active proximity and impact target sensors. Warhead, heat blast fragmentation, 